Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, the 8th of October. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather fairly quiet through midweek with only isolated showers. The next cold front due in here late Friday night or early Saturday morning. Look at that. There's the upper look. That big old nasty upper high we had last week is off the board. A trough is north of the state that pushed a front in here yesterday. You can see the progression. Birmingham at 64. To the north, we have 50s for Nashville and Louisville, but down to the south, 70 for Mobile and Dothan. We're expecting highs around 80 for the north today, mid-80s for the southern part of the state. There's the watch warning map this morning. Winter storm watches in effect for parts of Montana, Wyoming, South Dakota. It's going to be a big snowstorm coming out. Check this out. This is the GFS over the next few days, and watch the snow amounts really increase Later this week, over the Dakotas and parts of Minnesota, a huge October snowstorm for them. Check the severe weather outlook for today. No severe storms expected. There could be a few isolated showers for the eastern side of the state. We actually see a few isolated showers this morning, but nothing severe. This is tomorrow, and this is day three, which is Thursday. We got a risk of severe storms from near Wichita Falls and Abilene up to Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and Wichita in advance of a cold front, the next one coming in. But again, we're quiet here. Here's the rain for the next seven days. West is fairly dry, and southeast Alabama is fairly dry. We do expect a band of showers in here Friday night with that front, but moisture should be limited, and rain amounts will likely be on the light side. Tropical weather got three X's on the board, one out in the middle of the Atlantic, a couple near Florida and one just off the Atlantic coast of the United States. Uh, those two close in will be moving northeast off the east coast. That could produce some rough surf for the east coast of the United States. If anything develops there right now, just a low end chance of that. And then the one out there in the middle of the Atlantic just hangs around for a while. But the Gulf stays quiet. Here's the GFS. This is the 06E run, 4 o'clock this afternoon. A little short wave coming through and Again, that might squeeze out a few isolated showers for East Alabama today. Uh, nothing widespread or heavy. Otherwise, a mix of sun and clouds with a high around 80, maybe low 80s in spots. This is tomorrow. And again, the same thing. There could be a few isolated showers, but odds of any one spot getting wet are small. Thursday, that big snowstorm cranks up up north. That's going to be a very snowy day for parts of Nebraska, the Dakotas, and for us, Thursday should be dry and warm. We'll probably see mid-80s should be the warmest day of the week. And then Friday, the surface low is near Duluth, Minnesota with a trailing front. And this is suggesting a, a batch of showers could be moving in here uh, late in the day into Friday night. And again, I don't think it's going to rain that much. But certainly it's a, a possibility. Don't expect any severe weather, maybe a little isolated thunder. And then Saturday, it's on to the east. Uh, any lingering showers would likely end early in the day Saturday. And by early in the day, probably before 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, the sky becoming sunny. Uh, we could stay in the 60s all day. We'll forecast a high close to 70, just a really nice, cool air mass settling in here. And again, look at those shades of purple up north, way below average, where the big snowpack is down. And then Sunday, just a great fall day. We start the day, I think, in the 40s in many areas. High Sunday, low 70s, just delightful. Bright sunshine. Great weekend for the races at Talladega. We'll go to Monday. We're still dry and pleasant. And a week from today, this is Tuesday the 15th, a zonal flow. And this run suggests that front might be lifting back northward as a warm front with a chance of showers. Not really confident there. This is the first time we've seen that idea portrayed in modeling. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 17th. Big trough off the east coast of the United States, and that looks like a dry, pleasant air mass. Check the rain off the European for Birmingham. The mean is uh, up there close to two inches over the next 15 days. And again, October is typically a very dry month, so if we do get that, we'll take it. And here are the numbers. You can see mostly 80s this week, then 
70s next week. And again, uh, the European Ensemble's got 48 for Birmingham early Sunday morning, and that's going to feel pretty good for the cool weather fans. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.